Junior League of Evansville is the organization that supports, encourages, and inspires women. Lisa Vaughn is here with the details of this year's women's conference that is happening in 2020. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. So good to see you again. Tell the viewers, if you will, what would this decision-making process when you decide to go forward with having the, concert, the conference? Well, of course, the safety of the community and our members were first on our mind, and we reached out to the health department and Old National Event Plaza, and we worked out a health plan so we could have our women's conference. But the reason why we decided to, to move forward and do it in a very healthy way following CDC guidelines was that so many people have been furloughed. So many people have lost their jobs, and right now, more than ever, women need a place and a time and a day where they can come and they can network work where they can um, market their skills, where they can gain new skills and possibly even find that new job or get that new promotion and be empowered and feel inspired. So we really saw this as community outreach and a necessity um, to happen right now. So we are doing it in the most safe way. We will be taking everybody's temperature at the door. Everybody will need to wear masks. We are having smaller numbers than in the past. Um, every workshop will have uh, less than 20 people, 20 people or less. Uh, our lunch will be in the large uh, exhibit hall and there will be a wall divide and we'll only have um, under 200 people on one side, under 200 people on another. Um, all the tables will be only tables of four. They'll be six feet apart. Everybody will be wearing masks except when you eat and um, half the room will see it virtual. Half the room um, on the other side of the wall will see it live on the stage for our keynote speaker, Aaron Joy. So we're going to do this in the safest place manner, but it just really is essential right now to have a place where you can be empowered and be inspired and gain some skills and competencies to move forward in today's world. Well, it sounds like you've covered every single detail for safety for the people in attendance. We really have. We've thought of everything. Um, we are actually doing more than we have to. So, you know, we, we worked with the health department. We worked with um, Old National Event Plaza. We've even gotten guidance from the governor's office. Um, we've even gotten guidance from CDC themselves. Um, it was a long uh, wait, about a two-hour wait on that hotline, but I stayed on and I got the information we needed. And we've developed a, a safety health plan for everybody. Um, there will be plenty of hand sanitizer around for everybody. There um, we, we won't even have water poured into a cup. Everybody will get a, a bottle of water so they have their very own bottle. Um, we're really going the extra mile to make sure that this is safe and enjoyable for everybody. Well, and as you said, so desperately needed right now. How do we get our tickets? How do we register? So it's really simplistic. You just need to go to www.juniorleagueofevansville.org. And uh, we are really fortunate to have Sarah Nelson Grubb in our league who has helped us design our entire website and made it possible for you to register. So www.juniorleagueofevansville.org. Uh, and it's $40 to register for just the co conference part. So we have conference workshops in the morning. We have a luncheon in the afternoon and then workshops um, in the afternoon after the luncheon. And, uh, or it's $45 just for the luncheon. And you can hear our keynote speaker, Aaron Joy. Um, we also have a Google, an official Google facilitator coming. And she's going to do the I Am Remarkable. It's about women in the workforce and how women can take a stand in the workforce and how they can move forward and, and how they can um, weave in and out and overcome any um, obstacles that might be put in their way. So we're really happy to have workshops of that caliber and also our keynote speaker, Erin Joy, who's founder and CEO of the Little Black Dress Circle. She only works with women entrepreneurs and she helps women entrepreneurs businesses thrive. Lisa, when will the event take place? The event will take place on Octo October 29th at the old uh, National Event Plaza, and it'll be from 8 in the morning until 3.30 in the afternoon. We're really thankful to our sponsors, Legions Bank, um, News for You, and Old National Event Plaza for making this event happen. Lisa, great to see you again. Thank you for all you do. No, thank you. It's great to see you, too. Have a great day. You, too. Lifestyles continues after this. Stay